The Oakland Raiders plan on suspending Antonio Brown. Apparently, he got into an altercation with Mike Mayock, the Raiders GM. This situation has gone from bad to worse. First, he was upset about the helmet. Then, he missed a walkthrough. This has just gone bad. This has gone off the rails. I don't know what's going on with Antonio Brown, but if he's not careful, he's going to be out of the league very soon. I cannot believe this. He's got his money. He's got his guaranteed $30 million. But he doesn't seem to be happy with that. That's not enough. He always seems to be upset about something. I think what triggered this altercation was that Mike Mayock fined him. I believe the fine was $54,000 because he missed a walkthrough, he missed practice, and it was unexcused. So I think that's what made Antonio Brown angry. So he posted that letter on, on Instagram. He posted a letter of the fine that Mike Mayock sent to him. And of course, the Raiders weren't happy about it. I think Mike Mayock spoke to him about that and Antonio didn't respond. So that too could be a reason why Antonio acted the way he did reportedly in practice on Wednesday. This is just bad. I'm just so disappointed. I've always said this. Antonio Brown is one of my favorite players. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't understand it. You left Pittsburgh. Things didn't go well in Pittsburgh. You got a brand new start in Oakland and you're already causing problems. The regular season has not started yet. The regular season has not started and there's already issues with you, Antonio Brown. What is going on? Why can't he seem to behave himself and stay out of trouble? The Raiders, they could use a guy like you. Like I've always said, he's dynamic, he's fast, he's electrifying. He's wasting his talent by acting like this. All these antics, all this immature behavior that he's exhibiting is overshadowing his talent. I don't understand why he doesn't get that. I don't think the Raiders are going to allow him to play this season. I wouldn't be surprised if they just said, stay home. Just stay home, be, don't come back. We're taking back our $30 million. Have a nice day. I think that's where this is going. And I try to be optimistic about this. I said, let's give this man a chance. He left my Steelers, went to Oakland. I'm like, okay, things didn't work out in Pittsburgh. Maybe things will work out in Oakland. But it's, it's, it's gone from bad to worse, it looks like, for Antonio. And if he's not careful, he's going to be out of the league soon, and no team will take him. Who wants this headache on their team? And I like Antonio Brown. He's one of my favorite players to watch. I enjoy watching him catch the ball and score touchdowns and all of those things. He's very dynamic. But his behavior is out of control. And I don't know what's going on with him. Maybe it's a psychological thing. Maybe he has some mental issues. I don't know. So if he does, he should reach out for help. I just hope things work out between him and the Raiders. But it's not looking that way. It's not. And, it, and the thing is, the Raiders want him. They brought him along. John Gruden embraced him when he was going through his helmet issues. John Gruden stuck, John Gruden stuck by his side. And this is how Antonio Brown is acting. This is how he repays John Gruden and the Raiders. This is just bad. Someone, a close friend of his, or a family member, needs to pull Antonio aside and say, look, you've got to behave yourself. What you're doing is you're hurting yourself. You're losing money. Your career is in jeopardy, Antonio. Someone needs to look him in the face and give him a wake-up call. Because if he's not careful, his career will be over before he even knows it. And that'll be a tragedy. It would be one of the worst tragic tales in NFL history. A guy at the age of 31 who is so talented and so gifted is no longer in the league because he couldn't behave himself and act professionally. Oh boy, this is so frustrating. I wish him the best. Hopefully he'll behave himself and won't be a further distraction to the Raiders. Or if he goes on another team, hopefully he won't be a distraction with them. we we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Because I'll be putting out more videos like this in the future. And I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of them. Also, click on the notification bell too after you subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get my content right away. Thanks again for watching, 
Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.